What is up guys? Welcome back to the Brave Angler. Today we are behind the La Siena Rec Center down in the Villages, Florida for part three of our Villages Fishing Challenge. During these challenges, we are spending two hours on each of the 24 fishable ponds to see which pond will produce more bass and which one has bigger bass. Now, if we don't catch anything within those two hours, then we'll come back at a later time to do a redemption round. But I have a feeling that the La Hacienda pond is gonna produce quite well. Let's see if it can dethrone the pond leading the pack, which is Paradise Park. Let's get fishing. All right, guys, so before we came out here, we went to uh, Dick Sporting Goods. We got a, a couple things, you know, that uh, kind of looked interesting to us, like uh, this uh, speed wake. I have no clue what this does. I've never seen it before or used one, but uh, I'm kind of curious what it does. So uh, we might be throwing that a little bit out here. We also got a you know, six cents frog. I mean, we uh, it is a popping frog, which we got several frogs, but not a popping one yet. Then we got this uh, hybrid swim crankbait. I'm kind of excited to throw that. They had my favorite color, black and blue. Uh, really excited for this one. And then we also got a popper uh, from Six Cents as well. Uh, we needed another finesse jig because uh, I lost mine, so we went ahead and picked up one. Uh, a booyah spin bait because I threw mine off the other day. Another hybrid crank swim bait uh, in a shad kind of color. It's kind of cool because as you go different angles, the color changes. I think that one's going to do fairly well. This here is, I guess, a new one. It's a flat bill, but it has metal. And I guess the crankbait actually pivots um, as well. So I'm curious to see, uh, as you can see, patent pending. Sixth Synth making some moves on uh, creating some new crankbaits that are supposed to you know, step the game up. So kind of hoping to use that. Chatterbait, uh, replace uh, my black and blue that we lost at Paradise Park. And you know what guys, like we only spent about 65, 74 because Dick Sporting Goods was having a awesome sale on all these six cents stuff, which was uh, buy three, get three right there, as you can see. And it discounted a lot of these um, quite a bit. Some were, you know, uh, $12, some were $15, and the rest were around $10. But so there's some of the baits uh, that we will be adding to our tackle boxes. Let us get all organized and then we'll get out on the water. All right, guys. So we're going to get this party started. You know what? I think we're going to start off with the vibrating jig, uh, you know, gray and white with a little bit of chartreuse, and then black and blue trailer. This is a. Uh, power bait yeah guys so the village challenges have actually been going fairly nicely like uh, first we caught over seven pounds out of Paradise Lake or at Paradise Park, excuse me. Then we caught a five pound, four ounce bass at Gulf View Lake. We have not caught anything here yet, but with all the lures that we have, I have a feeling that we are going to catch something. Now it has been raining a lot lately, so the water level is really high. I don't know if that is going to help us or hurt us, but we are going to find out. Oh, no, that's, that's me being stuck. All right, guys, so we were able to get our chatterbait back. And of course, feels like it's starting to rain. That's yeah, just our luck here in Florida. If I could count how many times a fishing trip was ruined by the weather. Y'all could probably hear, it's blowing pretty hard. Yep, it just 
drop three degrees. We're gonna come over here right quick, see what we're working with. Actually, do not see any bass over here, but doesn't mean there's not. I know y'all just saw that. A little risky. I swear, guys, we are getting snagged on literally everything. Not going to lie, guys. I am getting a little frustrated. Just a little. And just like that, guys, we are on the board. Barely hooked him. Barely hooked him. Uh, you know, I know there's no real point of weighing him. But since we are doing this pound for pound at each pond, we want to make every count, catch go. So we have caught at least one. So if we don't catch anything else, we can at least move on. All right. So we got 12 ounces, guys. 12 ounces. So we are on the board here. Thanks for biting, little one. No. All right, guys, so we're going to be throwing the wake bait. Um, have no idea what exactly this is supposed to do. It's supposed to be relatively to the top water or relatively to the top. So we're going to find out together what it does. So, oh. <sighs> I forgot this bait caster was messed up from the last rod that we put we put it on. Okay, so it it does some pretty crazy stuff up top. Okay. Well, let's uh Oh my lord. Okay. Maybe turn the brakes all the way on. Maybe we're just getting some uh, overspin. But, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, guys. That, that is a beautiful, beautiful top water. I don't, it's a little big, but like I said, we'll see if we can We'll see if we can catch something with this. This is uh, pretty cool. Hey, sweetie, you see this thing? Next week, we'll be going to another pond. So if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. We love it when you guys come and hang out with us. 
We'll see you in the next one. Here comes the rain. Do 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 do. It's all right. I know. It's all right. It's just a